Hi folks, St. Paul Steam here with something I just finished up. This is my prototype. It's not as good as I want it to be yet. I think I can make it out of finer wood. This is just something I knocked together and ended up being quite a long project. But uh, it's my diamond mining trommel. And uh, so I got the idea of, you know, somebody was selling a cheap version on eBay and then I looked in the correct book I have and they had two versions of it. And so I knocked out my own type. It uh, weighs one pound, 15 ounces. It's five inches wide and 13 inches long and seven and three eighths inch tall at the top of the copper bell. And it's got an eight inch long, one and a half inch diameter, stainless steel perforated uh, sieve on it. And uh, like I say the next one, I've got two more I plan on doing them. They'll be made out of oak. And uh, I've got some some improvements I want to incorporate in them, but uh, this one has two rollerball bearings there to support the end of the sieve, and two there, and then two on the axle that drives it. it uh, its goal is to separate dirt from the diamonds that I pour through this bell on the top here. And then we, my plaque maker made a nice little plaque for me. It's brass. see spout and this tray does double duty to catch the diamonds and there's a little teflon wedge right there to keep the sieve in the right position uh, they tend to want to migrate slowly one way or another right now this is one directional and i'll put uh, some kind of idlers to, on this end on the next one it'll be able to go both directions Let's see if I can squeeze myself over here. Here we have a nice tray to catch the uh, castaway media. Right there is the inner workings. This is just a simple uh, bell with a reducer and an angle on it. And uh, kind of came across this idling idea here just by accident. I had had rubber o-rings on those and a rode, drum rode on that and the belt went around the drum but this worked out really a lot better and just came across by accident and took the rubber o-rings off now it centers it and yeah, it does a really good job of course the axle has two roller ball bearings and it has a wide bevel on it and i cut a groove in the brass part there with teeth gives a lot better grip so just improvements made along the way, and then my next two will be hopefully better yet. But uh, on the top, let's, let's see if the thing works. Of course, the media goes right down there, and the sieve will sift out the uh, dirt from the diamonds. And I'm using flaxseed. One of the issues I got with this is uh, the media tends to slide down the, the sieve a little too fast, so I need to put a baffle or so in there, which I'll do on the next one. But uh, it doesn't do bad. And here's the media right here. There's, hopefully we find some diamonds in there. Get my fingers out of the way. This is hard for me to do without, you know, I need a better cup. I still get a little media at the end there, and that's just because it races through. They'll make their way out, and of course, the, uh, the binder of the media fell into this tray right here. We can dump it out to that dish and start all over again. And collecting our diamonds. So there's the idea behind it. I wanted kind of a unique steam powered, steam driven toy off the Jensen 35 one half and the Jensen double set of transmissions. 
it's not running hard at all. I think it's only running, it's a 600 water and it's only running on 119, 118, yeah. So it's not struggling at all to run this trommel. But, uh, so there we have it. This is the prototype. And, uh, I'll make a few modifications and changes on the next one. And uh, we'll see what I come up with. Thanks for looking, folks. As always, I appreciate it. Bye now.